When your event is digital, make sure that you avoid the most important pitfalls. Invest in making it interactive and engaging. Here are my top tips for making your virtual event about people. Tip 1. Design for digital. Don't start diving into platforms and tools. Start with defining the objectives like you would for any normal events. Then start coming up with the most effective formats. To make the human experience equally engaging, break down your design back to scratch and start rebuilding it, especially for online. Just as in any live event, you do the coding of your event in the first few minutes. That means that if you want a session to be interactive, you need to skip the endless introductions. Start making a real connection right away. In general, with uh, online meetings, we tend to allow people to keep on posting all the time, all the time. I prefer to work with designated time slots, allowing people to listen first and then respond or come up with questions, or to think and give input first and then concentrate on the speaker or the information. Online, uh, minds drift even faster than in real life. So it's key to engage the participants roughly every three to five minutes. Actively involving people means that you make them think, that you make them move, that you make them act. If you're presenting, cut the crap. That might mean that you only give them the summary, the main points, and that you send the rest by email or as a PDF attachment in the chat. But don't keep on rambling on and rambling on because you'll lose them. In virtual meetings, people are all in their home or at their desk looking and participating individually. And yes, that may be challenging, but fear not and be creative. Try stuff. There are platforms that allow you breaking up in smaller groups. You can have these groups dig deeper into content, prepare questions for the speaker, come up with potential solutions. Not everyone is interested in the same content. So one option is you allow people to log in only for the parts that they're interested in or have a number of sessions simultaneously for people to choose from. Every human being needs time to himself in order to think, to prepare, to digest, to contemplate. You can ask participants to write down a list of most important challenges. You can ask them to take a walk around the living room or the garden to think something over, and it will make them more careful listeners. People love to play around. So why don't you play a quiz or a game? Why don't you have them do crazy assignments? Look for fun stuff online. There's lots of it out there. The basic thing is make them have fun.